Hello again. I'm We're Clover. <laughs> this is Philip Newman. Uh, we are together because we are at Sudoku Con. It is currently 12.25 a.m. and we're sitting in the ballroom having just gotten the audio set up to work. I think that's the last thing we managed. Mm -hmm. Clip sitting directly behind me, frantically typing on the tech computer. But anyways, we're recording guests. Uh, this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. And this is going to be me solving a Philip Newman puzzle that, that I, I also set about 20 minutes ago. Watched and him set. Clip <laughs> tested. Yeah, but, which yeah. I also just tested. So I kind of have the advantage here because when you just solve bills, you've never seen it before. Okay. Whereas this, I genuinely have no excuse because I test solved it. 20 minutes ago but anyways look at this beautiful theme so uh this is our sudoku con 2025 themed uh renbon slash german whisper sudoku so we have standard sudoku rules replacing the digits one through nine once each in each row each column and each heavily outlined region and then there are also some kind of green and ooh, what do you call this color i put it as purple but oh, I that's also, not even a little purple. I also usually change the color of the line. So that's true. It's more Your, yours are me. like often lavender, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's really I, magenta. But... Yeah. So the uh, Renbon color. What was that? That's a weird video artifact. Um, yeah. So the Renbon colored lines are Renbon lines. Uh, so digits along each of these kind of purple, pinky, this color line uh, represent a set of consecutive numbers like two, three, four, five, but they can appear mixed up in any order. So this just has to have the digits five, six, seven, eight, nine on it, for example, because we know it has a nine. We don't know anything about what order those go in. The green letters are German whispers lines. Along these, digits that are adjacent to each other have to have a difference of five or more. So whatever goes next to the eight here has to be at least five away from eight. So specifically, in this case, it means it has to be no greater than three. Now, I've been stalling because I fully forgot where I started solving this. Well, that's good. <laughs> Give me something to make fun of you for. Okay. If you just blew um, through it in three minutes, that wouldn't be as much fun. Should, should I just start by high-low coloring the German whispers? Do what you want to okay. do. Okay. I'm going to start by actually like being extremely diligent and doing this <laughs> thing with the German whispers that a lot of our solvers like to do, where whenever your two adjacent digits have to have a difference of five or more, you have to flip back and forth between like high-low, 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 because high digits are only five away from low digits and vice versa. So high digits are six, seven, eight, nine. Low digits are one, two, three, four. So we know that these guys are all going to be high. And these are all going to be high as well. And the reason I didn't include six there is because there is only one number that can ever go next to a six on a German whispers line, and that's one. And I know that I have two numbers next to each of these high digits, and I can't put two ones in a box. These have to be seven and nine. Similarly, this guy cannot be a six because it would have to be next to two ones. Seven can only go next to one and two, so that's going to be a one-two pair. Those are the only numbers that are far enough away from seven to go on a German whispers line next to it. Therefore, this guy cannot be next to a one, so it's not a six. So that's actually our six, making that a one and that a two. This is like a radically different path from yeah. what I did before, actually. Yeah. It's because you colored. It's true. The coloring made all the <laughs> difference. So that's a four-five pair. That's what I have left here. Um, can't color... Oh, I can color these, actually. So these guys have to be low, because, again, we're alternating between high and low. And they can't be four, and they obviously can't be one. So that's going to be a two-three pair. So this has to be able to go next to one, two, and three. So it needs to be either eight or nine, and it can't be nine because nine lives right there. So now these are going to be other high digits. We don't know which ones yet, six, seven, or nine. Okay, now things get a little spicy. This is a set of consecutive numbers. They're all from one to nine. There are only two ways to do it, either by taking the digits one through eight or by taking the digits two through nine. In the first case, we leave out a nine. <laughs> Shut up, Philip. <laughs> I mean, and, that's something I would use. So. In the second case, <laughs> we leave out a one. We can't do that because there's already a one in the row and the column. So we're going to be leaving out a nine. So that's a nine, not on the run one. And so that leaves five, seven, and eight for the rest of this row. This guy can't be a five because five can actually never go on a German whispers line. There's nothing that would be able to go next to it. There are no digits that are five away. So now we actually know this is high and we can color these guys orange for high. They are not six, so they have to be seven, eight, and nine. That makes this a five, and I can remove my five from there. And I will add while she's doing that, you could have figured out that those were high because the six is already placed in the box. 
And so the corners are all the same. It's actually it can't a very be good high. point. I actually don't feel bad about not spotting that. That's that's yeah. a little subtle, and I kind of like it. So these aren't fours because they have to be next to a digit that's not nine. One of these guys is going to have to be a four. Whatever's next to it is going to be a nine. That's not a seven because there's a seven in the row. And where do we go next? I'm going to go here because I said in my intro that this has to be five, six, seven, eight because they have to be a set of consecutive numbers with a nine in it. This is actually going to be a naked five because it sees a six, seven, eight in the column. So that's not a five. What I have left in this column is two, three, and four. Four can't go next to eight, so my four goes right there. This can't be a four. It has to be low. It can't be two or three, so it's going to be a one. And then I need four, five, and six right there. These guys can't be eight. I have an eight, nine pair here. So my eight is placed. Now I have a six, seven pair, so that gives me these. And my last digit in the column is a two. Now, what do I still have in this region? One and three. In this row, I have four, five, six, and seven. Oh, no. I have no memory of what I did now. Oh, we're here. The three. Yeah, this doesn't have a three on it, so it also must not have a one or a two on it, because if it did, it would have to go one, two, three, etc. So the one and two have to go right there. So these guys are going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We know a few things about that. We know the 8 is in one of those cells. We know the 9 is over here. I seem to remember being able to do more with that. Was I? Mm -hmm. You going to enlighten me? The 4. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 4. There's a 4 there. There is a 4 here. Four lives in one of those. Oh, that is exactly what I did when I was testing this. So four has to live in one of these cells in region two. So four sees these cells. These guys obviously can't be four. So that's where my four is going to live. Okay. So now what? I have twos in row one and row three. So one of these guys is going to have a two. If I recall correctly, like this is how I broke in. To region one when I was testing. I don't know it. if I saw how you broke into region so one. So what I think I think I'm at that point now. Yeah. So I think what I did here is I marked these as two, four, five, seven, nine, which is just really sloppy. But that's <laughs> me. That's not you. Um, and then I eliminated the five here because there's a five in the region. Also, five can't go on there. And then I also eliminated four because four can't go in between two different digits. So that's going to be two, seven, nine. Mm -hmm. So it's got to go high, low, high, because it can't do anything else. So, so that's going to be my two, I seven, used nine. the three in column two are the same polarity. And so they can't oh. be high because you've got two high digits. Literally did not even see that. Actually, you got yeah. three because the five's eliminating that. Yeah. So Nice. Lots like if we're digits. alternating, yeah. these are either low, 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 or high, high, high. And yeah, yep. it filled this... I was about to say Philip is right. Yeah, like Philip is obviously <laughs> right. He set the puzzle. Um, that yeah, we can't put three high digits there, so they definitely are going to be three low digits. And again, these guys are not fours because they can't go between two other digits. So then those are one and three. These guys are six and eight. And because there's a six there, we know that's my eight. That's my six. Six only goes next to one. Three and seven can't go together. So that's going to be my nine. And that is going to be a seven. Um, now here I still need a four, which is going to go right there. And then this is six, seven, eight, or nine. Um, my last digit here is a four. And that means this isn't a four, so this is a four. That's not an eight, so this is an eight. That's my last digit in the row, so that's going to be my five. And here I have a one in the row now. Two, three, two, one. Three can't go next to seven. That's not my nine. That's now my nine. That's going to be a seven to finish off this row. If I made like a really foolish mistake, would you just let me keep going? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, I don't think I would. I hope we haven't like tested that. I hope that's not actually <laughs> what's happening right now. <laughs> I might cry at this point. I've had a really hard day. Um, so she here has I have had a hard one day. And a six. It's been a long day. Yeah, if you're at SudokuCon, you you know what's up. Um, so I have one here, so those aren't ones. 
I need five, six, seven, and nine here, and there's a five in the row there, so that's gonna be my five. I know that my nine in this triple is there, so this is definitely not gonna be a nine, and I have a one and three here. This definitely can't be a one, because there's no way I can make four consecutive digits with a one in it there. So that's gonna be a three, four, five, six, Renbon. These are gonna be a seven, a nine, uh, the red, blue, yellow, triple, the number of seven, times eight, nine, that triple. I do that in solve videos. Hey, now that's a, that's a six. These guys are. <laughs> it's, it's, it actually is not just you being unfamiliar with the okay. computer. It's just this computer being cursed in general. Okay, so this becomes a three, four pair in the column. Yeah. That's now a two and a one. Neither of these can be seven because seven can't go next to three or four. So that's going to be my seven. And that makes this an eight. In this column, I need five, seven, and nine. Can't be a nine. And yes, I know I could have gotten that so much more <laughs> easily. That's now my four. So this has to be a nine next to it. And I get my eight and my nine, five and four, seven and five and you i think those are the those. last two digits <laughs> that i got again yeah, yeah i just i have like They're a very specific see. maroon color blindness anyways that is how you solve philip newman's lovely sudoku con 2025 come to sudoku con 2025 yeah. we have live stream tickets come see us yeah sudokucon.com slash tickets we're not doing anything gas related at all i'm doing a contest um just one cell, like spot the one cell that you can fill in in a really hard puzzle. And, and I'm talking about the opposite of gas. Liter literally the opposite of gas. Literally, Philip was invited to like tell us the hardest Heart things stuff. about classics in Hoku. But anyways, yeah, come hang out. Say hi if you're here. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.